Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. This is actually the continuation of the previous video lesson. And in this video, I would like to explain one concept in a counter system, which is called the self starting counter. Um, this self starting consideration normally occurs when there are some unused states that were not included in the counting sequence, of course, and the flip-flops are non-resettable such that the user cannot force the counter to count beginning at a specific initial state. So we get to the definition of the self-starting counter. That is a counter that has the ability of entering the proper sequence or the correct sequence no matter how the counter starts up. Which means, suppose that this is the counting sequence of your counter, A, B, C, D, E, and repeat, in which you have five used states, which is obvious, obviously A, B, C, D, and E, and three unused states, which are F, G, and H. Imagine that you just uh, power up your counter circuits and the flip-flop produce a random state based on the initial condition of the circuit. And since the reset button is not available, it's not available, you just let the counter count from that random initial state. So that random initial state can be either A or B or C or D or E or even one of the unused states F or G or H. If the initial state is one of the used states, you don't have to worry because the system already enters the correct counting sequence. For example, if the initial state is state C, and then it will uh, go through the correct sequence, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E, and so on. But what if the um, initial state uh, is one of the unused states? So how to ensure that it is eventually will transition to the use state and enter the normal sequence or the correct sequence? So the answer is, this can be done by doing a so-called the reverse engineering technique. For that purpose, I repose the um, same problem from the previous video, nam namely the, the counter with irregular sequence. And let's see how to identify whether this particular um, counter is self-starting or not. So here is the state diagram, the state transition table, the Boolean expression. Um, and so, so this Boolean expression uh, that were derived from the K-maps and the circuits diagram that was built based on the Boolean expression. So here our task is to investigate what will happen to the counting sequence if the initial state is one of the unused states. That is um, state one, state four, and state seven. So now we bring our focus on the state transition table, okay? Um, here are three rows, one, two, and three, that are filled with don't cares, as can be seen here. All are don't cares. All right, so these don't cares correspond to the unused states one, four, and seven. Okay, so these Boolean expressions are the inputs of the flip-flop, of the D flip-flops that corresponds to uh, this. So all this expression corresponds to this column. Um, so each k-map filled with three donkers such that, as can be seen here, the uh, yellow donker, this, this, and this corresponds to 
um, uh, the state one. So the blue, the blue don't cares. This, this, this corresponds to state four. And the green don't cares. This one, this, and this corresponds to the state seven. All of them, remember that all of them are the unused states. Let me clear the scribble first. Um, okay. So we know that don't cares can be either zero or one. If, if a don't care is included in a group of the K-map, so it is treated as number one. And if a don't care is left out from the group, it is treated as zero, which means, um, which means this yellow don't care is act like, uh, acts like a one, one and zero. This is zero because it is left out from the group. Then this blue don't care acts like zero, one, and zero. And finally, the green don't care acts like number one, zero, zero. So using these values, we can update the flip flop column of the state transition table to become, so now we update it. So that yellow don't care now becomes one, one, zero. Sorry, one, one, zero. The blue don't care becomes um, zero, one, zero. And the green don't care becomes um, one, zero, zero. So our aim is to define the next state of the unused states. So these updated values can be transferred to the next state column. You know, because, uh, because this is the D flip flop. So, and the D flip flop input is equals to the next state. So we just copy um, all of them, all of the updated values. So this is this, uh, sorry. And, okay. So now we have updated our next state column. So notice that uh, we don't really bother about the, about the output column because it does not influence in determining the, the next states of the unused states. Okay, now we can, we can now update the state diagram by including the transition of the unused states. So from the updated state transition table, we can see that, we can see that uh, one goes to six. So one goes to six. Uh, four goes to two goes to two and and um, seven goes to four so we can already conclude that this counter this particular counter is a self starting counter because it has the ability to enter the correct sequence even though it starts at one of the unused states even though it starts at the one one of the unused states it has the ability to enter the correct sequence. For example, if it starts with number one, then it will go to number six, and then circulates in the, pro in the correct sequence. If it starts with seven, uh, number seven, the path will be a little bit longer because it will go to four first, but eventually it will enter the correct sequence through number two. Okay, and and lastly, how to tell that a counter is non-self-starting? Okay, so uh, if the unused states only circulates 
among themselves and never goes to the one of the U states, then we can say the counter is non-self-starting. For example, by any chance, by using after after doing the uh, uh, reverse engineering uh, procedure, so if we figure out that, for example, one uh, goes to four, for example, four goes to seven, and seven goes back to to one, and then repeats among themselves. So in this case, the counter is non-self-starting, which require a reset to force it to start at one of the U states. Okay, so before I end this uh, video lesson, let me repeat what is, again, what is the definition of self-starting? It is a counter that has the ability of entering the proper sequence, no matter how the counter starts up. Alright, so that's all for now. Thanks for watching.